The Upper Clark Fork is ground zero for the industrial development in this watershed. Butte, Montana, copper capital of the world, built on what has long been known as the richest hill on earth. Below the surface, the men of the Anaconda Copper Mining Company enter their country's surface. The Upper Clark Fork has a dubious distinction of being home to the largest Superfund site complex in the country. It extends from, from Butte, 120 miles downstream to Missoula, where Milltown Dam, where that project happened a few years ago. In 2011, after the Milltown Dam was removed, the contaminated sediments were cleaned up, restoration had happened at the confluence, we started to look upstream. And so suddenly we realized, okay, we've got the bookends of the country's largest hazardous waste site now cleaned up, but we've got a 120 mile river system in between that's still suffering. Yeah, I buy alfalfa, I run cows, I understand you gotta have your water. But if you could just get that little bit of cooperation, just leave a little bit of water in the creek or just change the diversion so a guy could get through there with a boat or the fish could survive, we'd keep water in the creeks and water in the river. In order to get a healthy river back, you need to have not only the cleanup to return water quality, but you also need to reconnect the pieces of the river. We're looking at the whole of the landscape and how the river and its tributaries fit in and what the issues are, what the particular problems are in each part of the basin. We've developed a strategy with many partners from the state, federal level, and private partners to address these problems. And it's a multi-decade vision that we're trying to fulfill in bringing that river back to that potential. The goal for restoring the Upper Clark Fork is to make it clean, healthy, and whole again. All the tributary work that we're doing, all the water transactions that gets more water back into streams, all of the riparian plantings that provide shade and habitat for aquatic species, all the diversions we're removing so that fish can move. You know, those are small projects, but when they accumulate, you know, after a few years, you've got 10, 20, 50, 100 on the ground, and suddenly you're getting towards your goal. Suddenly the river is cleaner, it's cooler, fish are moving, ranchers are making more money, that's the vision, and we know we're getting there. Year by year, we're tracking the results, we're learning lessons, we're adapting our technologies, and we're getting there.